Hey, it's Sienna from The Curious Chicks. Do you love food? Well, I don't know about you, but I do. And I went to Boston for the second time and I did an entire food tour. From cannolis to lobster rolls, I'm gonna share with you everything that I tried while I was in Boston. Now the Parker House Hotel, now called the Omni Parker House Hotel, claims to be the first one to invent the Boston cream pie. But what I was surprised to find out was that the Boston cream pie is nothing like a pie at all. It's actually more like a cake. And it comes with a side of cream and some berries. It had a great flavor. It was light and fluffy. It's very different from many other Boston cream pies that are more custard-based and feel more like a pie. Another popular thing that the Omni Parker House is known for are the Parker House rolls. This roll was so warm and soft and fluffy. It was like butter and like melted in your hand and in your mouth. It was really good, don't get me wrong, but I've had rolls just as good at restaurants around here. Next up is Mike's Pastry, home of the cannolis. 20 different cannolis and I only tried two, chocolate mousse and the espresso cannolis. And they're really big, they're about this big. Love, love, love the chocolate mousse. It's so light and airy. They're also really known for their lobster tails, which are also huge and just full of custard. Next up is the seafood. I tried lobster rolls at two different places. One is Luke's Lobster, and the other was Legal Seafoods. Luke's Lobster had large chunks of lobster in it, and it had a little bit of seasoning, but it was very simple. The roll was buttered and grilled. On the other hand, Legal Seafoods, despite its presentation, it was a little bit more gourmet feeling. The lobster pieces were shredded with green onion, so it was like a little bit more to it. I love clam chowder, love it. I tried clam chowder at the Atlantic Fishing Company, and again, Legal Seafoods. I would have to say I prefer Legal Seafoods because it is creamier. Atlantic's Fishing Company's clam chowder was a little bit more runny. It wasn't anything more spectacular than what I've had elsewhere. While we're talking about Legal Seafoods, I have to stop for a minute and tell you about the spicy fish and chips. If you love fish and chips and you like a little bit of spice, definitely recommend that you try it. They put the Tabasco in the batter. It just gave it that extra kick that made the typical fish and chips dish that much better. I ate at two different restaurants in the North End. One is called Giacomo's. I tried the lobster ravioli, amazing. The other place was Trattoria Il Panino. I had the wild mushroom ravioli and a cream sauce. Very good. Just eat in the North End and have some great Italian food. If you like burgers, listen up. Tasty burgers. So I consider this to be the In-N-Out Burger of Boston. I tried the classic cheeseburger with the classic fries, with grilled onions and cheese and lettuce, tomato. Oh, so good. And definitely worth a try if you're near Fenway Park for a ball game. Faneuil Hall in Boston. It's a huge marketplace of all of these food vendors. I did try Pizzeria Regina, the pepperoni and sausage. New York stylish, really cheesy, soft doughy. It was great, but nothing special. And the other thing that I tried called mac and cheese. I ordered the seafood mac and cheese. It's literally like a bunch of cheese and they mix it with your pasta on the spot and it's all nice and fresh and melty. Another great place to grab some food is at the Boston Public Market. Red Apple Farm is one of the vendors and they make these mini cider donuts that are fresh and only a dollar and they're so good they taste just like Apple Jacks. So I highly recommend you check that out. Are you drooling yet? Well, if you are, you should buy a ticket to Boston right now. In fact, you should take me with you. I just wish I could try all of them, but I only have so much time.